Double M's, it's your boy Keys. And it's your girl Mandy Ew, Ew. And we back. With another video, video, video. Yeah. Video. And this time we are doing a what? Spaghetti mukbang because you voted it as the number one mukbang you want to see us do today. We did a poll. We did a poll now. So if you didn't vote, don't be talking mess. Y'all <laughs> missed the poll. Y'all did. <laughs> We're gonna be having salad. We got bacon bits, raisins. We got the avocado ranch that I love. That's some balsamic vinaigrette, mm. cheese for the spaghetti and for the salad. Yes, yes, sargento. And we got some electro moscato. But this time we're not doing the red wine. We're doing the white one. So it's gonna be our first time trying it. Yeah. It better taste good too, Electra. <laughs> I picked, I picked that. Oh, they got a white. He sure did. Mm. So we need to this what, baby? Black sensation. Let's do it. All right, most loving and gracious Father, thank you for all our friends and loved ones coming in to join us. We ask you add a blessing unto them, add a blessing unto this food for the nourishment of our body in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Y'all had the one some spaghetti. So when we did that poll and you guys was like spaghetti, I'm like, yes. People up in my own heart. Mm -hmm. Yep, got some garlic cheese bread. Mm-hmm. And she did this, she stuck her foot in it. <laughs> I took my time, y'all, and cooked this today. Get my avocado ranch. I love this stuff, y'all. Sorry, love it. It's like the best dressing ranch has come out with. We got them plates back here, y'all. Mm hmm. And then we got a little house salad on the side. Mm -hmm. Cucumbers, onions, tomatoes. Let me drizzle a little bit on there. I'm gonna let y'all see that salad. Delish. Same thing, y'all know. We like raisins and bacon bits and all that. And onions, ugh, and cucumber. Make a salad so fresh. Mm. Mm. So what y'all grabbing on, mm -hmm. family? You know what's for dinner tonight? I know y'all done grab the plate. And put something on that plate. What y'all got on that plate? Mm-hmm. If you didn't cook, go make a sandwich. If you, you don't want a sandwich, go make a bowl of cereal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sometimes it goes to y'all, a bowl of cereal. Where you're just not hungry for anything. Oh. Hey, what's y'all favorite bowl of cereal? <laughs> Comment. Is it the old school or some of this new school new school stuff they got out like now? I'm gonna tell you one key is like, and I like it too. Is that s'more? <laughs> yeah, I seen somebody. I don't know his name. It's a new YouTuber. He might not be new. Mm -hmm. I seen this guy. Mm -hmm. um, he had it on um he uh, was doing reviews on new new cereals that oh, came wow. out. Y'all know um 
And they got the banana pudding now. Post do they want all that? And they have the um sour patch. Mm -hmm. We haven't never tried those. You know, sour patch and they got the uh, maple syrup. Maple what is it? Maple waffles or yeah, chicken, chicken and waffles. waffles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got um. Uh, the um what is that the peanut butter uh you know just like the cookies um yeah the um, peanut butter cookies the cookies are shaped like a little peanut yeah um they got those in the thing they made those for a while too mm -hmm. they got the Ur oreos uh-huh oreo syrup yeah mm -hmm. they got um i'm trying to appeal to your children <laughs> Back in, too. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, they ain't try to appeal to us. Cornflakes. <laughs> Had um, all them uh, unnamed brand cereal. <laughs> King Vitamin. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to King Vitamin. That's an old school one. What's, what's that? The the, uh, the little circus cereal with the little clown on the front. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember that. You bought them a bag of cereal, the mm -hmm. big bags. Then the um, the off-brand fruit loops was The off-brand fruit rings. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> then you just had mm -hmm. regular corn flakes with the roost on them. Yeah. <laughs> but we were grateful to get what we had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, it was uh, you was doing it if you got some of them uh the little honey cereal counting chocolate in them mm -hmm. and the uh, Frankenstein, the Frankenberry, and the little ghost, the little blueberry ghost one. Or if you had uh, the real Frosted Flakes, not the Frosted Flakes with the polar bear, or a little Eskimo coming out the little uh, igloo. <laughs> you be going back, you going way back. Now y'all know, we didn't get no spaghetti mukbang. We talked about no cereal. Mm -hmm. But it is a cute little fun topic to go back like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all know I got the, um, you know, come out and entertain y'all first before we get into this conversation. Right. So I want to tell y'all, yesterday went over to my cousin's house. And so all the conversations, don't mean to cut y'all always got to do with something dealing with marriage or relationships or we have a good time something. with them yeah. because they married and we married and it's just a great vibe and we always talk about something that just it, it always makes sense <laughs> so we sitting there and my cousin is doing my hair and she did these spring twists y'all so if you guys are interested make sure you um email me because she has a reasonable price compared to what um the other um braiders are out here um you know charging so email me at musclearmarriage.gmail.com if you're interested if you're in the Atlanta area or Georgia area or whatever nearby. Let mm -hmm. me know. Serious inquiries only. Um, man, we were talking about um, somehow marriage came up and what we was talking about. I think it was like cheating or um, Everything. We betrayal, were things like still that. Still talking about um, Pastor Jamal Bryant. Um, yeah, we, 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 yeah, we were sharing yeah. about the service and we were telling about that and everything. They were telling us about some um, great pastors in that area too. And somehow DC Young Fly, shout out to DC Young Fly. <laughs> somehow he came up. <laughs> and my cousin pulls up this video on her phone to my watch it. Oh yeah, because we had never seen one of his uh, uh, comedy shows We've before. never seen it. And he had did a comedy show, but uh, DC, if you um, gonna do something in Atlanta, we most definitely are uh, be check on, you out. Yeah, checking that out. And the video was talking about how 
um, Bobby Walmart betrayed Sam Cooke. And then waited 20 years, y'all, to do a song mm -hmm. on it. <laughs> and my cousin cannot get it out of here. What she kept singing? What was that little line? Mm -hmm. I wish you didn't trust me so much. <laughs> Well, this stuff been Ooh. going on since. And I'm telling you, you um, you um, call your your parents up, mm -hmm. and you say, "Hey, did you know that Bobby Walmart did stuff like that?" Yeah, Bobby Walmart won no good. <laughs> Man, you just not learning it. Um, yes. <laughs> I said if Sam Cooke was still alive, that would have been a good that would have been a good beef on um, wax. <laughs> well, on mm. record, whatever they was doing the records back then, on mm. <laughs> that'd have been a good one. <laughs> and then they said that I don't know how true this is, y'all. Please, somebody tell me this ain't true. They said that Sam at Sam Cooke's funeral, Bobby Walmack was there with his wife, dressed in one of Sam Cooke's suits. Mm. I said, please. Uh, well, you got, we don't want you, not their way. His wife, Bobby Mo Womack, was there with Sam Cook's wife. Right, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what I meant. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. With one of Sam Cook's suits on. <laughs> Y'all, hey, hold up. Fellas. Y'all trying to laugh. I please. need all y'all to comment on that. Please. <laughs> hey, I was livid. And he was talking this, acting like I had this right wrong. I'm talking about something. That's why ain't no um, Shirley Caesar with no um, Mr. Charlie over here. I said Betty Wright <laughs> to my whatever. I'm talking about something. <laughs> ain't no Mr. Charlie over here. Mr. Charlie just the man doing the best he can. So Mr. Charlie better go on down the highway with that mess. <laughs> He's a mess, y'all. He's a mess. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. I guess oh. I'm gonna love him. <laughs> then we start thinking about all these songs they had. I forgot who had that one song. She eating in the next room. Um, was it? Uh, it wasn't Johnny Taylor, was it? Uh, it was ZZ Hill. Somebody, I looked it up yesterday. ZZ Hill. Yeah, somebody. Let me see. She eating in the next room. <laughs> Listen, how many of y'all remember the Midnight Soul commercials? Honey, I used to see that whole commercial. I used to make this one girl at work laugh her butt off. She said, you need to go to bed at night. Because <laughs> I would be up literally, y'all, in high school, up all night long, listening to them songs. Mm. Let me see what the, um... Y'all. Let me see. <laughs> hey, young people. Young people, put your ear. Put Z, your... Um, yes, you see here, cheating in the next room. Put your ear to your iPad, to your TV, to your phone. Your parents around here don't want you listening to all this new stuff and look at what they were listening to. Making plans to meet them somewhere. What? What? And listen, then I pulled up um, Marvin C's. Mm. I'll be your candy liquor. <laughs> your mama ended up making a cake. Ended up making a cake. <laughs> Y'all got to slice that night. Oh cake still God. full. Cake still full. You know, you come home. You come <laughs> home from school. Everybody going to work. You like, oh damn. Happy. Half the whole cake gone. What happened? Hmm. Your mama done took some of that cake down there to Mr. Wilson. What? <laughs> <laughs> you is dumb. <laughs> you, don't, oh you don't know that till the weekend come around and he pass by and blow his horn and say, hey now. Hey there, son. Thank shout you. Out, shout thank out, you, buddy. Thank you for the cake. <laughs> the cake was good. Look at Listen. Listen, then y'all TJ talking about y'all like Freddie Jackson. <laughs> shout out to TJ. <laughs> you are my lady. 
Hey. Yo. Everything I need and more. All right now. All right now. You get a Freddie Jackson in this thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do with the jams though. And I actually remember my cousin Trina. The more. Oh, more. And I remember uh, my cousin Trina. She was always singing that song. Somebody loves you, baby. <laughs> By Pat LaBelle. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you who really had the deets on the hits. My cousin Scent. Shout out to you, Scent. Scent always had the deets on the hits. I mm -hmm. mean, when Al B. Sure came out, CC Peniston. I mean, she knew all the um, 80s and 90s music. Like, she knew who was, who was popping. <clears throat> she definitely had the 90s sold up. I remember back in the day, she would have like bags of um, tape cassettes. You know, people don't even, some kids probably know what a tape cassette look like yeah. nine days unless they parents show them an old tape cassette. But man, them were the good old days when you listen to music and you and you knew people wrote the music, they wrote the music because it was something that happened to them. Like when Al B. Sure said when he wrote the song for Jodeci, Forever My Lady, mm -hmm. So You're Having My Baby. That first line came from Kim Porter who was pregnant with his son Quincy at the time. Yeah. I'm like, why? Like, you would never know this stuff until these people tell you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like amazing to me. Nowadays, it's like a writing team and, you know, people singing other people's experiences and things like that now. I mean, nothing wrong with that either, but I'm just saying it just, it just, it felt more genuine back then, you know? It's, it's crazy how music done evolved. Uh, uh, evolved. Mm-hmm. Because... Back then, R&B was winning, mm -hmm. like real heavy. Mm -hmm. It was, man, R&B groups was everywhere. R&B was like the biggest genre. It was. I'm talking about was, was taking off. Mm -hmm. And now, rap winning. Mm -hmm. Hip hop. Mm. Because now you have these young people mixing the hip hop with their R&B too. You know what I mean? Like you got artists like Jacquees, um, Chris Brown does it. Mm -hmm. I mean, he go back back and forth, but he he been mainly doing a lot of hip hop type music. Um, Trey mm -hmm. Songz, I don't think so. Trey Songz kind of like remain consistent with. Just regular R and B. I gotta get Trey Songz his props. He kind of he kind of made true to the guy. And Tank, of course, Tank. Tank get a little ratchet on the music, but he keep R and B too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that thing with um Bobby Walmart, we trying to get our Bobby Walmart behind. Mm -mm. <laughs> was, Bobby Walmart and Sam Cooke. That was a mess, man. I can't believe that. I'm like, wow. Y'all was back. Y'all was out here doing the most. I was three years old when that song came out. You was what? Mm, probably about seven. Yeah, seven or eight. Mm, you was little. You know what's mm, going on. About seven years old. <laughs> you know what's going on. I had a little black and white TV, y'all. Mm. Little black and white TV. That you had to stick a hanger in the back of it with the y'all know what that mean with the <laughs> aluminum foil, the antenna, the, the homemade antenna. Mm -hmm. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Before it had all of them, these are uh, different uh, little shows. I remember it was just the box. Mm -hmm. I remember they had the little black box too. Everybody start buying them. They can get all the other channels that they wouldn't allow you to get unless you pay extra money for. That that little brown that little brown box that you <laughs> uh, if you had cable and you scroll mm -hmm. it with that little plastic thing in the front. And you had that big old that big old box. If you if you had a little bit of money, you had that big old box flow model TV. Uh huh. Ooh, them was the good old days, y'all. I'm telling you, it's so funny. When you start thinking back on little stuff you remember seeing as a kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Huh. My Aunt Pat used to play all the oldies, Smokey Robinson. Um, who else? 
Bought the Walmart was definitely in the Al Green. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, My cousin Lil Al Green. <laughs> um, before the Soul Train, it was what? What Keep was that? Al Green. <laughs> before it was the Soul Train, it was an, another little dance show that used to come on. Before Soul Train? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mama swore she did the Soul Train line chair. I think it was called <laughs> or something. They thought having an afro back then was everything too small. I had the best afro. <laughs> and, um, something. It oh, was, you go, girl. The the host was this um a white guy. Let me see what you're talking about. You know Google. Google, Google is going to tell us. Google will tell us. Let me see. Something with um, um I know I know if y'all know tell me what it is. The one um no, I don't know. the one show before before Soul Train that you um used to come on. And don't be scared to let somebody know because you don't want to tell your age. Let me see something. That white pretty good. It is pretty good. It tastes sweet too, don't it? Mm-hmm. Almost like tastes it. like Japanese plum wine. Mm. That is what it tastes like a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'ma let I'ma let Mandy have the um the red and I'ma take the white. Mm-hmm. You want to go? Hey, Lectra, we looking for a sponsorship. Maybe I can't find it. Um, America Bandstand or something oh, like that. And that might be it. America Bandstand? Let me see. Television program that came out in with, oh boy. Yeah, music performance and dance television mm -hmm. program that aired in various versions from 1952 to 1980. Well, it looked like it was more of a white crowd. For yeah, music they music used band. to do all that disco dancing. They like do wop wops in them, in them pictures. And, uh, it started. 19, in, 50, oh, it was 1989, so yeah, they started yeah, getting disco. They started dancing. doing that, uh, you know, you got breaking. Look at that, they got, they, got the, they got the Beach Nut Spearmint Special, Sweet Little 16, It's Too Soon to Know, Short Shorts, Down Tequila, Oh Oh I'm Falling in Love, Who's Sorry Now, Get a Job, Are You Sincere, Lollipop. <laughs> Lollipop. <laughs> Lollipop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but they was doing their best, and, and, you, and I look, at, look at my girl, Cindy. Cindy, Cindy Lawful. Lawful. Oh. it up. <laughs> Girls just want to have fun now. And then Don Cornelius came on the scene with Soul Train. And started tearing it up. <laughs> they was pop locking and dropping way before any of that. The loops and all of that. Right. They was doing their thing too. But they tried to say they was doing it, you know, with class. It wasn't, mm. so, it wasn't so raunchy. <laughs> it wasn't so raunchy. My mama said we went to the we went to the club. I had my red t-shirt on, my crease, nice white jeans. I bet it was fitted. <laughs> All the way. I bet it was fitted, girl. <laughs> get it, girl. Mm -hmm. Get 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 it, girl. <laughs> All of them. All of them. Them get it, girl jeans. <laughs> they be trying to make like they were so conservative back then. <laughs> They were prepared to today's time now, but Man, they was doing stuff. Some cool. of them britches be so tight you can see the mold. Oh. Get out of here with that. <laughs> Get out of here right now. Get out of here with that. <laughs> you better stop. <laughs> Could eat a whooping. Spank, spank. They better stop that lie. They know what they was doing and what they was going to do and what they was there for. You a mess. <laughs> Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. Better stop playing. Y'all shot the 
Cool and the Creole Queen for these shirts they made us a while back. And we wearing them again and again and again. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna get to make us some more shirts too. Y'all check them out. They on Instagram as Cool KU and the Creole Queen. And check out their channel. Yeah, they make all kinds of shirts channel. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they make them custom, custom made shirts, y'all. Get on over there, subscribe, mm -hmm. and we'll hit that below. bell. Mm -hmm. So be what? Notified. Mm -hmm. Put them on your TV and let it play, baby. They'll be having some good conversations. Who was talking about Saints and Sinners today? I know. We like I, that show, too. Yeah. I got the um, catch up. Mm -hmm. We like that show. I think it's on. We only missed one episode. I think another one coming on in a couple nights. Straight off the chain. Mm hmm. We thought Greenleaf for something else, honey. Kind of Saints and Sinners. <laughs> I'm most definitely going to have me a little wine. Because <laughs> <laughs> your boy feeling fine. Oh, whatever. Really? And he going to have something a little sweet. <laughs> Keep me out of it. <laughs> Keep me out of your plans. <laughs> see that? See that? She think it always got to always be about her. Stop being selfish. Okay, it's not about me. I'm sorry, dear. I didn't know I wasn't part of the plan. It's about that peach pie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ever had the Marie Callender single peach pies? They so good, y'all. Mm -hmm. They so good. So good. <laughs> <laughs> you got a date with Marie. You got a date with Marie Callender to the same. Cause you clarified the one about me. Hmm. We go. We gonna have Marie, Marie Callender with one of her little dresses on. <laughs> I'm tired. Let me check your beard. It's, I ain't on good wife. I'm gonna check your beard. Let me check your beard out, baby. Make sure your beard clean. I'm a good wife. I'm a good wife now. <laughs> the good wife. Y'all ever watch that show? That's my favorite show, y'all. And then they turned the show series into the good um, fight. And I remember a subscriber recently asking me, had I watched the good fight? And let me tell you something. I haven't really got into it, but now, man, I can't wait for season four. It's good. And they're making it all about Trump behind him, eating him alive. So, you know, but that. <laughs> I'm for watching that for sure. Mm -hmm. It's so funny how they make fun of him uh -huh. and Milani. Mandy did that with the spaghetti. Oh, thanks, babe. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm gonna take my time and cook my man a home cooked meal. And we're gonna move on this thing and have some good conversation and love on each other. Mm hmm. <laughs> I was on see Bobby Walmart in one of my suits <laughs> eating spaghetti on the channel. <laughs> Talking about what up, what up. <laughs> I wish you didn't trust me so much. <laughs> Play around if you want to. Whatever. <laughs> he already told me I'm gonna get both of y'all busy. <laughs> Crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you checking these people resume. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you know I ain't even happening. He already know how I am. Mm -hmm. He don't worry about that. Trust me, he don't worry about that at all. Mm -hmm. You don't worry about that. Stop friend. You know you don't worry about that. No, you don't. <laughs> I don't know about the Walmart tights coming up in here. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You ain't got no best friend like this, so who, who gonna be? Better bring your own spaghetti. <laughs> but the way it sounds like Brother, yeah, Sam yeah. was leaving Bobby with his wife. And I ain't never known you to leave me with nobody. Better have his, better yet, he better have a can of spaghetti yours. Gonna be. <laughs> you don't even want to give nobody a ride, let alone to my, um, somebody, um, riding around 
I'm sitting right up in here while you gone. If they walk in, how far they walk so far? They legs can carry them just a little bit longer. I agree. <laughs> Oh, well, we can both ride with him. You have to take your friend home. I'm gonna stop. Oh. We don't, don't have a better house like that anyway, so keys no better. Oh, I don't know. After this Bobby Walmart store, I don't know. You don't know about what? What you don't know about, baby? Mm -hmm. That store, that store, man, makes me. Make it mad. <laughs> I said, now I'm pretty sure somebody can raise from the coffin, they would. <laughs> mm -hmm. For one last fight, for one last show, I'm going to get about that coffin. <laughs> Dude standing there in your suit at your funeral with your wife. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. When I said disrespectful, so disrespectful. I wish Sam had some sons. They should have came out came out the side on Bobby Walmart, giving him the business straight up to his temple. <laughs> mm -hmm. Straight up to his temple. What? Catch his fade real quick out here in these um his funeral rounds. Catch his fade real quick. <laughs> you a bold or something though you go to somebody's funeral. With their clothes on? With their clothes on and their wife? Not just their clothes on, but you with their wife. Mm. And I wish you didn't trust me so much, man. My, I wonder what the church was saying. <laughs> Bad he probably not the pastor was doing it too. The pastor covered a lot of people wives in their problem. You know what I'm telling them? Mm. That stuff is going on mm. in some mm. of them churches. Back then. Like back now. Like right now? <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know about that. Back now. <laughs> back now. You wrong. <laughs> it was happening back then and it's happening right now. Mm -mm. <laughs> Boy, have mercy. Y'all ain't say that. <laughs> I don't know nobody doing that. <laughs> I don't know what nobody doing. Oh man, that was good. Yes, it was. It was really, really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. Uh, share the videos, you guys. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hang on go and subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the what, baby? Dumbledore Kingdom. Come go on in here. Go and get down there and comment. Holla at your boy. Holla at your girl. And you already know what to do. Hit that bell. Bing! So you can be notified of all the content. All the videos that we have in store for you. And we'll see you in our next video. Oh, don't forget. Make sure you hit us in the comments. Let us know about that Bobby Walmart situation. If you know all about it. Because I want to hear about that. I want to hear what y'all know about that. Mm. We'll catch you on the next go around. We out of here. Love you guys. Later.